Mission 4 Victory in Turel By the way, that's little spoiler because who knows we will be victory we will be, will be victorious or not Ah yes the beautiful Loire river basin is much more pleasant now that we've driven the english from the surroundings of Orléans Indeed my dear Etienne but this is not the moment to bask in our success for if we are to deliver our dauphin to Rem for his coronation we will need to expel the enemy from Turel Mind you, this is no easy task. Torrells is fortified by an adjacent military installation, that of St. Augustine, a tower that features formidable arbalests controlled by numerous mechanical pulleys. This does sound quite dangerous. Fortunately, we can count on our master siege engineer and Pullman general, the Duke of Alençon, to aid our cause. Milady, I would like to introduce you to Jean II, Duke of Alençon. Glad to make your acquaintance, Milady. After hearing of the plight of our innocent citizens in Orleans, I felt compelled to be here to assist you and your noble cause. Very well. Let's move on and destroy the rough in the English. Let's go, there's some headbanging to be done. I will head towards the vicinity of Torrell so I may scout the area. I shall inform you of any enemy activity in the area. And I shall head towards Chinon to rendezvous with the French siege forces, led by Dunois and Dillier. The English are retreating toward the west. We may either head west and take the initiative against them, or capture English camps due south. All the remaining camps surrounding Orléans had been recaptured by the French. The next day, the English abandoned the immediate vicinity of Orléans, and there was great celebration in the city. But this was no time for Joan of Arc and her companions to rejoice. Joan needed to liberate the rest of the water of the valley, but she was to accomplish the mission that of coming to Dauphin Charles VII, his king. However, one of the paths leading to the Loire River region was beyond Tourelles and St. Augustine. Surrounded by English garrisons, Tourelles and St. Augustine possessed an extreme defensive military power, for in the vicinity an automatic siege weapon tower had been erected. This siege tower was replete with gears, pulleys, and other assorted mechanical contraptions that allowed it to operate with certain autonomy. Enemies inside this imposing structure controlled the array of artists within to mount a vicious defense against any French force attempting to cross the river but approach these two bastions of English men. Undaunted, Joan and her men ventured on. Knowing that the chances to tear down the English defenses, although slim, were unattainable. If only they could destroy the weapons tower guarding St. Augustine and the Torrells first. Fortunately, Joan of Arc had come on yet another general, eager to assist her and the Valois cause. Once that master former general and siege machine engineer, the Duke of Amundsen, heard of Joan of Arc and her noble intentions, he offered his skills and loyalty to her cause. Now, first of all, I want to. I can switch to Alain's Horn. All your units are waiting for your command to attack. Just strike the weapon, just strike the tower, or, or strike with the weapon. Doesn't matter. Because we. Tell them to stay here. And I want to assign these units to Lahir's command. My and I do the same what I always do. Going alone versus tons of enemies. First, let me take a selfie. Okay, Cressy Broadsword. Yes, that's what I want to use now. And I give this stuff to Lahir. And I need these explosives ar explosive arrows.
this way. Okay, and you can have those breads. I give him the apple because I get back the energy points from killing, from defeating enemies, so I don't need those. And available experience points. Mm. Well, I don't know. Jump heavy attack. Ah, I understand. Okay, let's save the game at first. I think I've already saved it, but doesn't matter. It's better if I do it twice than never. Can't I put no? Lahir would need more points on leadership. Because this way I have to bring my one soldier with me who will definitely die. First of all here I used to turn right. Let's, let's turn right. The reason why I really needed those explosive bolts is because it's possible that I will siege castles alone as well. Yes, <laughs> you heard that well. And I need to destroy the gates. Well, okay. We've cleared this part. Oh, by the way, I should have checked the... Uh, no, not this one. Mission Brief. The map! So yes, we have tons of castles to destroy, so I think... or occupy. So I think I will do that way that I will attack this camp in this part. And no, I will go attack this camp, and then in this road I will go and camp and attack this camp in this part. Yes, that will be okay. We will meet lots of English soldiers here. We have captured John the Mets, your so-called general. If you want to see him alive again, meet me in the La Forêt Sombre if you want to see him. Yes. So that's also thing that I've talked about. He said twice that if you want to meet meet him alive again or see him alive or something like that. I always read Elven Archer, but it's English. Okay... Let's attack the archers. Ah, 
Actually, they are killing my men. My one soldier. But this bonus weapon damage also is amazing. Maybe I should give him a large bread. Oh! Much better this way. Yes, possibly I can save one man because I can give him enough food to survive for as long. We'll see. Forward. Now, crossbowman. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think this is the first time when we met with them. Also annoying. They have much more damage than the archers has, but... And they also run away range, but they are much weaker and slower. I think, or I don't know, but they are not as annoying as the archers, but they are also strong and, and dangerous. Now that is the first camp, and it seems that if we lure some soldiers here... Yes, that was all for our soldier. I should have given him more food, but I didn't expect that much. damage never mind I so love this soundtrack love this soundtrack so much oops have to eat. <laughs> okay, we've cleared those guys. I lower them here again. Fight them off. The molar easily penetrates through our tough armor made with a 25 I don't know how to call it LB pound forged iron silinger attached to a riveted iron handle. Level 2 base damage bonus 39% down attack bonus 25%. Only Lahir may use. Level up. Let's see first the attacks because... Oh my gosh. I'm still waiting for the amazing attack. Some points on health. Five points on defense. And maybe two points on st to strength. Just for a little more damage. Okay, go down again. 
turn back and another archer to deal with now I'm not sure if they I think they can't shoot you when you are climbing the ladder but I'm not sure so it's not not an immortality spell <laughs> some stuff and I clear these arches just to make sure but I don't want to attack this way yet so powerful that you have no chance against me. Easy. Okay, so we've cleared this camp. And I'm aiming to the next one. But first, open the chest. Amulet of if if defense. I have a better if defense by fifteen, not just ten. Please give me more crossbowman. Archer. <laughs> Such dodge. Yes, possibly I can use this to dodge. Arrows. Arrows. An archer in the tower. Oh my god, who are you? Sir William Glassdale. I pity the fool that has the god enter our largest camp. And yet you come with so little support. I came alone. I sure ensured you never reach the real. If not in a coffin. <laughs> Please. to be sure I save the game. And I'm thinking that maybe I should enter this place. Yes. I took down this archer and I like to lure some of the enemies here
Nice. What a bike, man. All men. I think I go up this tower and I <laughs> accidentally alerted some enemies. Maybe it's not that much. Sir William Glasdale and his companions. Not yet. Oh, I get a loaf of bread. Level up! Again. Okay. Well, this way, still nothing. But where is Sir William Glasdale? He rushed back or whatever. There you are, you coward. Oh my gosh. Crossbowman. I don't like those red attacks because they easily can be lethal. That's the, that's the dangerous part when an English general is fighting with you. Oh my god, he's 23. Level 23. I just used Jean all the game and I'm 14. 
So yes, oh my god, I had luck here. But when an English general is actually fighting with you, and uh, you have crossbow men to deal with also. And he's charging his health. Okay. You have won this battle, but the war is far from our. Your lands, everything and everyone, shall always belong to England. Until we meet again. Well, <coughs> easy. <coughs> what? Sir William has dropped the key. You have defeated Sir William Glasdale. Glasdale. Or what's his name? Level up! Oh, I just used the food and then level up. Up the arrow. Now is the time when I should place some points again on strength and on my health. A A A A. No. Actually, I need A A A A B. an army alerted and possibly I only lure or bait or alert but only the melee oh my god come after me but that's more than enough. Dangerous, by the way. Critical 
Critical kill. Critical kill. Critical kill. Critical kill. Oh. Wow, okay, so we've cleared that squad actually. <laughs> oh. Let's deal with the crossbowman first. Now actually the practical way would be using those fishes or using those fish or you know so these is that I would bring myself to low health so it would be good it wouldn't be it wouldn't go to waste those 200 health but I don't dare to do it because <laughs> in that low health every little hit is lethal Yes, you can see that <laughs> or you can hear that I don't talk a lot while I'm fighting and that's obviously because I have to concentrate actually to deal with these people because yes, this is possible to go through the whole game on very hard alone and it's possible that you fight alone with hundreds of enemies but Actually, you have to concentrate for that. <laughs> Just a little.
kill. Okay, okay, done, we have to clear those tower towers, yes, from the archers and pick up some loot here. No. You have captured the English camp Le Blau Blue. Now actually we can bring our buddies here, for example La here and his man, but I don't know if I should do that or not. I will think about it. Yes, so as you can see, I've cleared two English camp, a little and uh, a bigger. And... Oh. This will be the side goals what I learned. Wow, wow. Oh. Good old friends. Turel Saint Justine. Yeah, so this will be the goals. And as you can see, I've already cleared two of these camps. In the next part, I'd like to go like this way and check the smiths. And this music is so amazing. I just it is amazing. I can't say why, but I love it so much. So yes. I go this way and forward on this road to reach that English camp and maybe this camp and I don't know that after that should I attack this city Truel and Santa Justine or check what's here it's confusing now yes okay next part what mat what matters I check this town and of course I attack that as well and I defeat every English soldier in my way okay next part possibly comes in next week and actually I have to say that yes I can only do parts weekly but at least I'm happy that I can do it weekly. So it seems that for a while the channel's videos will come weekly. But don't worry, I will do whatever I can to make it happen. And thank you very much again for watching. And I hope you understand everything what I'm saying because I still practice English. But I think I've learned a lot. <laughs> and at least I know how to fight with tons of enemies alone. Okay, so again, thank you very much for watching. And I hope I will see you in the next parts.